Hi, Michelle here from Strawberry Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube channel trailer art using Canva, C A N V A dot com. It's a website that's free to use and has a lot of cool things. I'm not sponsored by them, but I use it a lot for both school and my YouTube channel. So I'll show you how it's done. When you go to Canva and you say create a design, you're going to get a whole bunch of different sizes and ideas for you to use. It's really cool because you don't have to remember oh, how big is it for a Twitter header or how big is it for my Etsy shop cover. Um, they have the sizes already created for you and the ones that you use the most end up being on the recommended for you. So I'm going to make a YouTube thumbnail. And once it opens, it opens with a bunch of different layout ideas. And these are nice to be able to kind of get ideas of things that you could just use really quickly. Another way to get some cool ideas is to go to the elements and go to the grid section. And it'll show you different ways that you can put several photos together in one thing. I tend to usually start with a blank page and go to my uploads and put in a photo. Now most of the time I will use a photo that I have taken as a screenshot from my video that I have recorded. Now once you have this photo in here you can resize it to whatever size you want. You can also crop the photo to however you want to crop it. So this photo has already actually been cropped in some other software, so it's a little, not a lot to crop out, but I'll crop a little here. Okay, and click the check marks when you're done. And you can also do some filters on it. You can choose one of these filters, or you can go to the advanced options and up your brightness just a little bit. Sometimes I like to move the photo over here so that I can see exactly what I'm doing maybe up the contrast a little bit and just kind of work with your photo um, but again you do have the filters here oh I kind of like that one actually that you can also use next I usually come up with a background so the backgrounds here are really cool you have a lot of patterns that you can choose from that are free and at first I thought that all of these patterns had to be that color but they don't so let's say I want to use this one but I don't like that green color I can just click on it and then go up here and change the color and actually that's a little dark for what I want so I'm going to change that color just a little bit more to try to have it match my dress okay then if you want to add sorry the dogs are barking if you want to add some clip art or something like that there you can come up here and you can search for whatever it is that you want um, some things are free and some things cost money and some things are available in the pro version so like if I wanted this lizard I could also the cool thing about their drawings is you can change the colors to whatever color that you want in the drawing and I actually don't like him very much but what about this guy oh he's tiny so I'm gonna make him bigger and see he's got three colors on him so I can actually change his colors Mm, no, um, to whatever colors that I want, all right, and put them wherever you want them to be. I don't think I really want to go with the lizard thing right now, but I do want to get some text, and they have suggestions of different fonts matched together for you already that you can use, or you can just go up to like add a heading, and once you're there, you're at a heading. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want it to say. So this is my Miss Frizzle costume from and you can move that to wherever you want it to be and of course you can change the font. There are tons of fonts 
to choose from and then you can even upload your own font if you don't find one that you like but there are so many to choose from it's really really cool um, and of course you can change the size as well and another thing that I like is you can also work on your spacing so the line height I'm going to make those come together a little bit more and wow that is not popping I think my background might be a little bit too bright so let's see if we can't lighten that up a little bit more and then I think I will take my words and maybe choose purple okay so um, once you've done that another thing that I usually do is I have uploaded my logo as a PNG so that it has a transparent background yeah cancel and I can put that on and I can resize it to whatever size I, I need it to be for this particular video and another thing that I like to do is I like to go to the shapes and a lot of times I'll pick a square and if you drag it from the corner it's gonna be in proportion so you'll keep a square if you drag from the sides you'll be able to get a rectangle so I like a lot of times to put a frame around my thumbnails just to help it you know pop just a little bit and of course you can change that frame to whatever color you want as well um, and you can just you know kind of keep playing with everything until you have it the way that you like it I'm going to move that frame to the back a little bit so that I can grab some of my other stuff and be able to move it around a little bit I have decided that I want something else not everybody knows who Miss Frizzle is so I'm gonna put from the magic school bus and I'm gonna move that underneath and I think I will pull that up a little there we go I like that and now I can download it I'm gonna download it as a JPEG and then I have it to use in my YouTube video as my thumbnail thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment share it with your friends and have a great day crafting away